Hello everybody, welcome back to our description on how to use Wix. If you don't want to miss another video, hit subscribe, hit like. If you caught us on our last video, I was showing you how to do the content manager, which is extremely useful and extremely very, very, very helpful in maintaining your site and all of your statistical data. Well, today we're going to do blogs. So we're using a business site just to show you a little bit that we can add it to any site. Because if you choose a template that's specific for blogs, it's already going to have that for you. So here we have the Andy's car business. And if you look on the left hand side again, just underneath that, you'll click. It brings you down to all of the other ad features that we have previously went over underneath the content manager that I love very dearly. Hit blog. It's going to show you at the site or find out more. If you want more information just to read for yourself, if I'm not including in the video, definitely find out more. Click add to site, give it just a few moments, and I'm going to scroll up and you'll see it adds it here to your menu. So, of course, this button click and it's going to pull. All right. And it's going to show up on top of this page. Uh, it's on the very top. It's going to kind of cover everything. Don't worry. Uh, so here I'm going to show you also how to drag and move everything down to make the space. Now, once it finishes loading everything and it pulls it up, it's going to bring you down to this pin. Now this pin, you can go build, you're gonna be able to go straight to it. We'll get into that a little bit easier with the blog manager. Uh, but we just wanted to go a little bit just to show you how to add it, right? So go back to the add features. For now, go to blog, and you're gonna see a few lists here. The post list, which is large, the post list on the sidebar, which is exactly how it says it's on the side. And the category menu, tag cloud, archive, and the RSS buttons, which are going to allow you to go directly to it. All right, so the post list, you're going to be able to choose anything. Uh, the post list, lars, the sidebar, it's again, it's going, as you're scrolling down here on the blog elements, it's just taking you through on the same, which you can kind of see that for yourself, right? All right, so leaving from here, uh, this is going to be all of your posts. This is everything that you need. So if you already have a post already linked up, you can just click manage post. It's going to pull up the site. Give it just a moment. And here you go, the dashboard. Remember how awesome that dashboard is? Well, it's the same for the blogs. So your post and everything you're doing, right here. The same, you're gonna be able to edit them, do whatever you would like, remove them. You're gonna be able to change them any, whichever you like. We've made it quick and convenient for you to manage your blog from anywhere in this blog post. Blah, 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 right? And here we go. And this is pretty much it. The unpublished changes, if you have them, we can click add. You can add an image, so if you have a custom photo, your gallery. So again, that's pretty simple, right? What, a, what is a gallery? If you go to an art gallery, you're looking at pictures. So it's the same here. Or add a video. Again, it's just like anything that we're adding on for social media or building the site in general. It's going to take you right back to uh, the photo editor to do everything that you need, to upload them to Wix, to edit the Photoshop if you want to Photoshop some of them. And the same as if you're trying to add YouTube in the previous videos that we went through. And this is another thing, but in a specialized blog format, right? We also have added a divider, which is going to separate them. You're gonna, you can also insert an HTML code, which is again, just uh, if you have a specific site, maybe even Twitter or something else that you want to use, uh, this is going to allow this as well. A GIF, well, if you want to add a GIF. If you want to add a code snippet, there you go. And you can add a file. Maybe you have a document that you want to share. Uh, again, the same way. All right? And this is pretty much it. So if you want to edit it, of course, just click. And you can change highlight. We can just say hello here. And there you go. Now you can change your blog from everywhere. And, of course, it tells you just like on Facebook or any other social media site. One minute to read characters. It tells you how many characters you have. Uh, so forth. Hello, how are you? And it's going to add them for all you need. Now this is counting for everything and here you go. There's all your information. Now once you go to publish, click publish and your post has been published. Right? Pretty simple. Uh, maybe I don't like it. I can do it, make it a draft again or I can move it to trash. Uh, maybe I don't like do this. Uh, click, uh -huh, move to trash and it's gone. Whichever you like. If you want to go ahead and create a new one, of course, just click create new post. More actions, the blog settings, analytics, 
you can actually hire a blog writer or import a WordPress post as well. If you want to create a new one, let's go ahead and create a new post. And here is your catchy title. It's everything again that you just seen, just not as a template format. Now create it for yourself. Now once you're done, hello. And we'll say, how are you? Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go to publish, right? Add your photos. Hello, how are you? Oh man, I've decided I'm not done with it. I'm not finished. What about a photo? An image. Click add image. It loads and it takes you right back to where, remember if on the, fir on the first couple of videos that I showed to you guys, I was showing you where you can kind of upload a picture to customize your background. If you remember that video, it takes you to the same place for the images. So everything else you can do, my boards, my site files, whichever you like. You can media from Wix, the shutter shock, the upsplash, anything. If you have a file, create a new folder, media types, everything you need, upload media. This is the same ordeal. So here we'll just exit out of it. And here we go. Uh, again, I showed you in the other videos how to move everything too. Uh, of course, remember the footer design that we have. Uh, so we can grab, click, and move this just a little bit. We want to make space, right? We always want to make space for everything. And you can drag and drop and come on down just not to hide everything. See, as we're coming up now, you can see, right? It's made space. Super cool. And we can go here. Now, once it's on your page, too, you can do the manage post. You can go to your settings. And once you go to your blog settings, let it load just for a second. And it's just going to take a moment. So again, once you just go to here, it's going to take you straight to create a post or manage your post as well. It's just a little quick shortcut for you. Your display, you, you're going to show what's on your feed, the author's name, the image, the badge, the publish date, the reading time, more action menus, description excerpts, view counters, comments counters, likes counters, everything that you need, the layout. So if you want it to be editorial, you can, you have it. If you have the full post, you have a magazine, you have the one column, you can crop it, you can fit it, whichever that you like. Alrighty, the space between posts, you can do it. The margins, you have it. Tax paddings as well, everything here, full custom design, even on your post, which I find it very, very easy, even versus the other sites when you're posting blogs. Uh, so that's your settings. Uh, you can scratch it so where it goes all the way from one side to the other, and there you go. So hello, there's our post, our time. Uh, you know, if you're doing a business, this is going to be really handy for you too. Because as you're letting them know what's going on, if you're giving them updates, you can put hyperlinks in there. Remember the anchors I was telling you about? You can click here, go to the HTML, and you can kind of follow along and let them, well, let your customers kind of follow and say, oh, he has a coupon going on. Let's click this. And remember the content manager too. They can come back. You can redirect them to this too using a type. Because if, you, if you're doing a blog, uh, as you're telling them about something, you can give them this hyperlink this uh, to go to it. Once they go to it, oh, hey, this is pretty cool. they has got a coupon. And you can put that button inside of there, and it will take you straight uh, to the anchor that you set up or maybe or your forms. And that way they can register for more information. They can see the people, your team members. They can kind of choose depending on what your service is, what you're doing, right? They can go ahead and make a payment. They can subscribe to you with money. Uh, and this is going to catch their idea, this is going to catch their attention to actually follow you more, right? Uh, so this is it. Uh, and this is just through the ad feature. If you're doing a site specifically on blogs, you don't have to go through and add this. You can go straight here to my blog, which is already there. I just wanted to show you this for there. The blog pages, you got blog post, it's the same. Add blog elements, you can do the same. Remember, it, it's all from there from the add button. This is just to bypass all of that, right? You can Instagram stream as well. You can do Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. You can add it to sites. Let's do a little click. And you can add the app. And click add app. Right, right, terms of use, 
just to give you that at the app. It's taking a little bit longer than I expected, so okay. Uh, the online programs, you can create and sell programs based on a common goal. The Wix forums, Wix podcast player, Wix shared gallery. Again, that's everything you want to do. If you want to do a button too, to click and it takes you and puts a little button. And that button is just as good. And if you caught us on our buttons before, it's the same. You're going to see the same picture and just drop an anchor. Link this button to that anchor. And again, it takes you straight there. All right. So, and this is pretty much the gist of a blog. Pretty simple, pretty easy. If you want to add the picture behind it, you can. Remember, we already went through that. Let's see. And here, here it goes. So, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then your own special uh, HTML -E code. All right, guys. So, that's basically it for the blog. Uh, in the next videos, we're definitely going to go over some of the other features. We're going to go over the stores, the bookings, the events, members. We're going to finish up the ad features, and we're going to go into some more details that we have. So I really enjoyed making these videos. If you like them, let me know. Drop a comment, tell me, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. So I will catch you again soon. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will be back with you with some more awesome tips and tricks for Wix.